House plan would eliminate health care subsidies for Congress, the Vice President, the President, and members of the Cabinet. It would also include a two-year delay on that medical devices tax. If you don't think that's a big deal, it's a big part of the revenue, folks. And it would also get rid of the one-year Labor Union Obamacare tax holiday. So with those three key provisions, I'm joined now by Democratic Congressman Charlie Rangel. Congressman, thanks so much for being with us. Your live reaction, as you're probably hearing within the last few hours about these provisions in the House, this is something that you're probably going to have to look at uh, pretty shortly and vote on. What do you think? Well, it's embarrassing, and uh, I'm certain that history is going to record that this is the lowest uh, moment that we've had in the Congress. What's Clearly, about it? it well, when you say that you're putting the whole country's fiscal integ te integrity on the line, when you say that you're closing up the government and you're still running around there to developing countries telling them what they should be doing with their budget and what democracy is all about, not only is it embarrassing from an international point of view, but the hundreds of thousands of Americans that are suffering pain but as I a result you about this of the deal. government. I get it. This whole thing has been okay, embarrassing. Well, and that with, involves with you this, as well, sir, with, because you're part of all of this. What I'm asking you about is this deal that we've just learned about, the provisions that have just come out today from the House uh, Republican leadership. I wanted your reaction to those specific three provisions. What do you think? Can you deal well, with it? I'm very, I'm very, very optimistic about what the leadership has said in the Senate. This isn't a question of the House and Senate uh, differing. This is not even a question of Republicans and Democrats uh, differing. This is all about a handful of people who got elected as Republicans that want to bring down our government. You can see it uh, in the streets. You can see where they're coming from. And the same way they fought uh, as Confederates, they want to bring down the government and reform it. All Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. Are you likening, and I'm only assuming you're referring to the Tea Party members who are pretty intransigent on their views. Are you likening them to Confederates? Well, I can tell you this. If you take a look at the states that they control, take a look at the Dixiecrats, see how they went over to the Republican Party. and see Michelle Bachman is not from Dixie. Party. What are you talking I about? <laughs> I, am telling, I am telling you one thing. If the Republicans really want to bring the government back, if the Republicans want to make certain that this country maintains its fiscal integrity, all they have to do is to accept the Senate. Already they're fighting what the Senate hasn't even formally proposed. They're adding things onto this to cause a problem. The American people want us to act as adults. They want to make certain the government opens, make certain that our veterans are treated fairly, and they're not saying that they're going to embrace and work with the Senate, who Republicans and Democratic so leaders Congress are Rangel, working together. Yes. I get it that you don't like that position that they take. But the last I checked, they have an equal vote, as do you and those of your ilk. Doesn't that mean you, you, you've just got to deal with it, sir? You just have to deal with it and negotiate. And that's what politicking is, chipping away at both I sides, including your side. First of all, I don't think I'm going to like what the Senate comes up with. But in an effort to make certain that it reopens government, I'm prepared to do it. And as far as my elk is concerned, the elk is not with me and the people that support my position. The elk is with a small group of people that if they didn't vote for this compromise and, this, and the leader of the Republican Party in the House allowed the other Republicans to do it, then the elk would not vote for it. And the Democrats and some good Republicans that believe in compromise and opening up the government would. So the elk isn't me. The elk is a small number of people in the Republican Party that really is against anything that comes out of these negotiations. Let me ask you this, and it's a pretty simple question. You keep deferring to the Senate plan, and I get you. You're hoping for good things to come out of the Senate. But I'm asking you about the development this morning, and that's what's come out of the House, because you're a member of the House, and you're going to be asked to vote on it. Are you going to vote for it, or are you going to pass it off? I have no clue, and the Republicans have no clue of what impediments they're going to do. All I know is that the Speaker just announced that whatever comes out of the Senate, they're going to have their own bill. If we really want to move where the American people are, what they would do is to say that they're meeting with the Senate now, and they may not like everything that's in it, no one does, but that they're going to accept it and move forward. 
or if they're not going to accept it, to work it out now with the so Republicans in the Senate. I've been dealing with this for three weeks, and, and I sort of shake my head every day as I come to these interviews with them. Um, and I will say you and your ilk, because you're all representatives. You're our guys up there. And what I can't believe is that two weeks ago, we were talking about the complete defunding of Obamacare, a passed law that made it all the way through the Supreme Court. Today, we're talking about bits and pieces of chipping little wiggle rooms away and it still seems the intransigence is as strong as it was two weeks ago can't you look at this in, in, a, in a forest instead of a tree and see how much farther ahead we are from two weeks ago well you've been working on this for three weeks you say and i've been working on it for 43 years and the way the constitution is set up that when a bill is passed by the house and senate and, and authorized by the supreme court you don't use the nation's fiscal integrity. Well, you know what? Yeah, constitutionally you can. So let's get beyond that. That's an old argument. It we is can't legal do what it. they're doing. Well, apparently you can't. And that is causing us great grief out here in America. And what we are all asking you, by the way, if I can just remind you of what your uh, disapproval rating is right now. I think you're at 74% for uh, Republicans and let's see, 61% for Democrats. That is not good. You have to account for that. Your job is to negotiate and to be a good negotiator. And Americans don't think you or the Republicans have been doing a good job at that. Well, America is right, and we're doing a terrible job, and that's how I started off. But there's one thing that you have to make clear, and that is this. You don't hold the integrity of the United States. You don't say that the president cannot increase the debt ceiling because you have differences with the other party. I don't care whether you're Democrat or Republican. You don't do this, and a handful of people are doing. Most Republicans don't like it. They hold us with disdain. All the Democrats, we don't want this for Obama, and we don't want it for any president, Republicans or conservatives, to put a gun at the president's head saying, if you don't agree with me politically, we're going to take down the United States of America and those countries that depend on our dollar. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's not a compromise. It's a hostage taking. All right. Well, listen, you know, Congressman Rangel, it's always good to, to have a chance to speak with you. And I, Thanks um, for having me. It's, it's great to see you. And please work harder. That's all we ask. Work I will. Harder. We are. We are.